What's up guys? As you can probably tell, the Green Miata is finally, I think, running correctly. Uh, after the last time, well, I don't even remember where I was at in the last video because I've done so many damn things. The short version is, it had an exceptionally persistent cylinder four misfire. And I tried all of the things that would cause a single cylinder misfire. I replaced the, uh, make sure I don't die. I replaced the coil pack, I re both coil packs, spark plug wires multiple times, spark plugs multiple times. Like, I got to the point where I was replacing stuff that I'd already replaced because the only thing I could roll out was like, well, maybe the new one is bad too, you know? Uh, I replaced the injectors and the fuel rail and the injector harness, uh, basically every damn thing, and cam sensor. And was getting to the point where I was like literally just out of ideas as to what the hell I was going to replace. And I noticed that the vacuum line that's supposed to go to my map sensor, basically my vacuum lines were routed incorrectly. And there was no vacuum leak, but there was no vacuum signal to the map sensor. Um, I still don't actually have any clue how that would cause a single cylinder misfire. I totally understand how that would cause like a P0300 misfire. Um, of all cylinders because it's not fueling correctly because the map sensor is not getting a correct signal But I still don't understand how that would cause only cylinder four to misfire But it looks like it did because uh, since then I put like 40 miles on it Driving it like to lunch and stuff like that like I'm doing right now and uh, So far so good the uh, check engine light hasn't come back on for a misfire It's not it's you know doesn't feel like it's misfiring so like yeah uh, I think I've finally got it sorted. I'm gonna start buying some fun stuff for it. Um, well, honestly, I'm probably gonna do some maintenance stuff first. These top seals right here, uh, the last time it sat outside in the rain, they were leaking. And I tried the uh, Honda Shinitsu grease that supposedly is magical. It hasn't rained since, but it doesn't look like it's, it looks like it's still gonna leak. I think I'm gonna need to replace these seals basically. So uh, I'm gonna order a set of these seals and do that. I already ordered um, a pair of LED headlight bulbs from Super Bright LEDs because I just kind of by default put those in every car I own now. They're cheap, they're bright, you know, they last a long time. You basically never have to worry about one burning out or anything. So I just generally like them. Already got those on the way. Probably gonna do uh, new gauge faces from Rev Limiter. And then I'm gonna get started doing like suspension and stuff and maybe go ahead and buy Mega Squirt would probably be one of the first things because uh, I need to learn how to effectively tune this before I put a turbo on it because uh, stakes are a lot lower without boost when you're learning to tune. So I think it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and um, do the, get a baseline tune with Mega Squirt while it's still naturally aspirated. So uh, yeah. Fingers crossed, it looks like uh, my misfire problem is solved and I can actually start like, you know, building a project car as opposed to just troubleshooting a misfire every day of my life. So that's kind of cool. Okay, well, see you next time. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it and it's like 60 degrees and I felt I should test the uh, convertible tops operation. So, uh, go give this a try and also i'd like to see how the gopro media mod does in a convertible i tried it in the prius with the windows down but that's just really not the same so let's see I gotta take it easy clutch only has 100 miles on it but yeah it's running strong and not missing and all kinds of cool shit. pretty damn excited okay that's good enough